everybody, today we're going to learn how to put tapes on your violin. So things that you're going to need are washi tape or stickers, pencil and scissors to cut the washi tape if you're using that. Also some helpful apps that you'll need to use are Tuner Lite, it looks like this. And I'll put links down in the description. And it's also very helpful if you have a piano or keyboard nearby. If you don't have a piano, you can just use a keyboard app. The one I use is called Virtuoso, and it looks like this. Okay, very first thing you want to do is check that your violin is in tune. So if your violin is not in tune, then the tapes that you put down are going to make the notes out of tune when your violin is in tune. So open up the app Tuner Lite and you'll want to press the tuning fork button. And it's going to be able to read it when your violin is in tune. So just play one string at a time, nice and slow. is green then that string is in tune. You want to do that for every string so that they're all in tune. Now if the light is not green and it turns red then you're going to need to pause this video and tune your violin. And if you don't know how to do that yet go ahead and watch the how to tune your violin video. Your violin should be in tune now. And the next thing you're going to want to do is cut little washi tape into little strips and you'll want it to be about the size that it can stretch across your entire fingerboard. Uh, I would make sure that it's long enough to fit across the fingerboard or at least the strings down here because the way we put it on is we come underneath the strings down here and if it doesn't reach all the way across, it'll just make it more challenging. So after you cut up all of your little strips, this is where you're going to want a piano or keyboard. So I'm going to pull out my keyboard app. And the first note we are placing is a sharp which is first finger on the E string. It's about this far down. And I'm not going to give you measurements because they change from violin to violin and they vary depending on the size as well. So go ahead and find F sharp 5 on your piano or keyboard. It should sound like that. And for those of you who aren't super familiar with notes, it's right there. And if you're using the Virtuoso app, it should be labeled. So we're going to find that note on the violin. Remember, it's about this far down. So what I would do, is if you're not as familiar with where notes are placed on the violin, listen to this and slide your first finger up the violin until it matches that pitch. And remember, you don't have to go very far. It's only about that far. And once you have that note, leave your finger there and don't lose that spot. And we're going to switch over to the Tuner Light. The Tuner Light app will help make sure that the note is precisely in tune. So go ahead and press the tuning fork button and play your note. Now, if the light goes off as green, and then great, that means you're in tune. 
don't need that spot. If the light is red, then we'll need to do a little bit of adjusting. So if the red light to the left is going off, that means it's flat. And you need to raise that pitch by bringing your finger closer to you. Now, if the red light to the right is going off, it means it's sharp and you need to lower the pitch. So you need to slide your finger down away from you. And don't do it too much, just like a hair at a time, because the pitches aren't that far apart. Just keep adjusting your finger until you can get a green light on the tuner. Now once you have your green light, you're going to want to take out your pencil and be super careful not to move your finger. And now we're going to mark in the center of your finger, not above or below, but just right in the middle. So I would come around to this side to try and mark it and do the best you can to get in the middle. And it's okay if it's off a little bit because the tapes are super easy to take on and off and move around. So it doesn't need to be perfect because there's still room to move things around. So now you're going to take out your first tape strip. And I'll come closer so you can see. So you'll get your tape and come underneath the strings. Make sure the sticky side is facing the fingerboard. Okay, and then we're going to gently glide it up until you get to where you marked with your pencil and set it down. Now I'm not going to put it all the way on. I'm leaving this side still poking out in case we need to move it. So at this point, you're going to want to use the tuner app again to check if this is in tune. Now you can use the same guidelines I just gave you to adjust the tape as needed. But I will go over them again. So if the note you play is flat, red light to the left is going off, that means you need to raise your tape. You need to bring it towards you. Now, if it is too sharp and the red light to the right is going off, you need to lower it and bring your tape down away from you. So, we'll test mine. Mine is too sharp. So I need to move my tape down away from me. And you'll also want to make sure that your tape is straight. Mine is not very straight right now, but it is pretty easy to fix. So I've moved my tape down and I'm going to try playing on it again and see if it's in tune now. So when I place my finger right on the tape, the green light is going off and it is in tune. Just to be thorough, we're going to test the tape on all strings to make sure that it's in tune. So now I'm going to place my first finger on the tape on the A string. This is a B. You're going to want to look at your tuner app to see if it's in tune. So that one is in tune. That one is also getting a green light, so it is in tune. And so is that one. So now, this tape is good. I'm going to put the sides down and move on to 
the second finger. The note for second finger on the E string is G sharp. So you want to pull out your keyboard app or grab your piano again and find G sharp 5. I'll show you where this one is as well. That middle flat key. So we're going to use the same steps we did to find F sharp. But now you want to use your second finger, your middle finger. So listen to that pitch and slide your second finger until you find it. And leave your finger down. You don't move it. And switch over to the Tuner Light app. Make sure the tuning fork is on so it can measure whether the note is in tune. Go ahead and play. Mine's a little sharp, so I'm going to lower it, bring my finger down. Now it's in tune. I'm getting a green light. So I'll save that spot, pull out my pencil, and I'm going to mark in the middle of my finger. And now I'm going to get another strip. I'm going to slide it underneath and bring it to where I marked with my pencil. right about there. And now I'm going to test if it's in tune and adjust as needed. So I got it right on the first try. But if you need to adjust yours, feel free to pause the video and you can straighten it, move it up or down. I'm going to check the rest of the strings. Okay, that one was a little sharp. So my tape may be a little bit slanted. Now, if one string is coming up as sharp or flat, but another says it's in tune and it's perfectly straight, your tape is perfectly straight, then you might want to check to see if the violin is still in tune, because it could be possible that one string has slipped and is throwing off your tuner. If it's not, then just try and adjust the tape again. Make sure it's as straight as possible and go ahead and keep testing the rest of the strings. That one's a green light. And that one was a little bit sharp. So you also want to make sure that your finger is being placed in the same spot on the tape across every string. It's also possible that you might just be moving your finger a little above the tape or a little below the tape as you're switching strings. So that is another thing to watch out for. But once you feel confident that all of it's in tune, go ahead and pull the sides down and move on to third finger. So third finger on the E string is going to be A. It will be A5 on the keyboard. Sounds like that. And it is right there. 
So we're gonna use the same steps we've been using. You're gonna use your third finger to find this note. So go ahead and listen to it and then glide your third finger up until you can match the pitch. Leave your finger there. And we're going to switch over to the tuner light. Tune on your tuning fork. Check if it's in tune. I got a green light. So I'm going to mark it. It's my pencil now. Remember, mark it in the center of your finger. I'm going to pull up my tape and go under the strings, down at the bottom of the fingerboard, slide it up all the way to where you marked. Now I'm going to check it. A little sharp. So I need to bring my tape down away from me because it is too sharp. I'm going to try again. You want to make sure your finger is placed directly on the tape evenly because that can throw you off a little bit. At that time it was a little too flat so I had to move it higher towards me. And now I have a green light. I'm going to check the rest of my strings. Just make sure your finger is always placed in the same spot. Mine is coming up as sharp, so I'm going to make sure that my tape is straight, first of all. It has a tendency to slant. That one's good. sure my finger is right on the tape where it should be because it tends to move if you're not paying attention. And now it's good. So I'm going to set that down and move on to the next string. Now normally for my beginner students I just put on the three tapes. And then I add the fourth later when they start using fourth finger in the Suzuki books. But I'm going to go ahead and show you in this video just so that it's all in the same place. Okay, so fourth finger on the E string is going to be a B. So I will show you where that is at on the piano. B5. finger, your pinky finger, to try and find that note and match the pitch. Okay, leave your pinky there and switch to the other app. Make sure that the tuning fork is on. where you have your pinky placed and adjust as needed. Mine was a little flat so I need to bring it towards me. Now it's in tune. So I'm going to mark that with my finger just like we 
done before. I'm going to take my last tape, bring it underneath the strings, and glide it up to where I have the pencil marking. Now I'm going to check. That was a little sharp. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And when I say bring it down, remember that means away. Away from your face. It's a little flat. Uh, the higher up the string you get, the closer the notes are together. And it's harder to tune. <clears throat> so just do the best you can. Okay. So now I'm going to check the rest of the strings. adjusted my tape a little farther up towards me since it was flat. Now I'm going to check the strings. Make sure your finger is right on the tape. And it's in tune. So I'm going to go ahead and right there and that's how you put tapes on if you have any questions go ahead and leave comments below i hope this video was helpful for you and thanks for watching guys